Our beloved Queen was worryingly absent at the state opening of Parliament for the first time in 59 years yesterday due to what Buckingham Palace claimed was mobility issues. Standing in to deliver the Queen's speech, Prince Charles cast an emotional figure as his mother's unworn crown lay beside him. While most of the nation's heart went out to Her Majesty, the Daily Mirror's associate editor, Kevin Maguire, made this observation, which sparked massive online controversy and outrage. Kevin tweeted, Nobody else in Britain would keep huge pay, many free homes and massive support staff if they could no longer do their job. Why should Elizabeth Windsor, 96, be treated differently? Well, perhaps that's because the Queen has dedicated her entire life to the service of the British people, and as the greating, greatest living Briton, I believe she continues to fulfil her duties. Kevin will be joining me in a moment to argue his case, but the question is, do you agree with him? Should the Queen get to keep the perks of Vina Royal when she cannot fulfil all of her duties? Let me know your thoughts. Dan at gbnews.uk. Tweet me at gbnews. Vote in our poll there too. Taking Kevin Maguire on in this debate is Conservative commentator and a regular fixture on my superstar panel, Calvin Robinson. Kevin Maguire, come on. This, this was such a cruel dig at our Queen. What were you thinking? Oh, come on, Dan. You always want to discuss the unthinkable, what other people don't say, but they're thinking themselves. A lot of people will be believing it's somewhat cruel that she is still there at 96. And the fact is, uh, a lot of people have to step down when they can't do their jobs. And you look at the royal families around Europe, there have been abdications in Spain, Holland, uh, Belgium. The Japanese emperor, who's supposed to be descended from a god more than a thousand years ago, abdicated too. She's going to get older, she's going to get frailer. Uh, you can thank yeah, but her you're for suggesting her booting work. her out of Windsor Castle! Come on, she is, she, she is, she should be Elizabeth the last in my view. We should go to a republic and be democratic about this and decide who our head of state is. But just keeping her there when she can't do the job, getting the sovereign grant, what is that, 83 million pounds basic. Then there's but all she that is doing her job, Kevin. Security, she is else. still come fulfilling on, on, her job Any, as monarch. She just can't travel public in public. She wouldn't be tolerated in that way. Calvin Robinson, I think she is fulfilling her duty. Of course she is. Her Majesty the Queen said after her 21st birthday that she would dedicate her life to the service of this country. And she has done so for the last 75 mm -hmm. years. So I know many Republicans who don't want to see this country remain a constitutional monarchy, but not many of them are as cold and heartless as Kevin Maguire has been in his, in his recent re remarks. To suggest that she should be booted out is almost describing the Queen as if she's a benefit scrounger. These are not perks. Mm -hmm. This is her life. Her life is service and duty to us. Mm -hmm. And as her subjects, we should be grateful for that because she is a uniting figure. You know, many countries don't have a constitutional monarchy. Many countries have a dictatorship. Many countries have a, de a democracy that doesn't quite work. You know, countries like America, where the politics gets polarised further left and further right, they don't have an apolitical figure in the centre that holds us and binds them all together like we do. You know, we should be thankful that we have a living symbol of our strength our unity and our patriotism. And to just demolish that and suggest that these are perks and benefits that should be taken away from her just because she's gotten too old now after all of those years of sacrifice and service is outrageous and heartless and cold. And I find it very sad that someone would talk about her in such a dis detached way like that. And Kevin, look there, she is working. She is doing her duty. Oh, come on, Dan. I mean, they've, they've pushed a few people in for a, a photo call and have it filmed there. Uh, uh, some people are gonna uh, gonna need knee replacements because they're bending their knees so much uh, much here. Look, she's got, she has a, a a role constitutionally, yes, but she is on welfare street, isn't it? I mean, look, she she got the position; she didn't have to apply for it; it was inherited. It'll soon go to to Charles. Uh, Andrew will still be around. Um, I don't, don't want to abolish the monarchy. I think until I see if Meghan Markle's the US president, because I think uh, President Markle, the first man, Harry, visiting King William and Queen Kate could be quite amusing, given that they, uh, those couples don't uh, get on. There would be more <laughs> tension than Biden and Boris over the damn Northern Ireland protocol if that ever happened. Uh, yeah.
I mean, look, it, you could be the tower for laughing at that joke, uh, Dan. You know, you could be you could be judged to be. Uh, you should be the tower for that tweet, Kevin. But you quite know, frankly, but it's a it's a. Basic, Calvin says basic you should fact. be in the tower for that tweet, Kevin. If Twitter was yeah. around a hundred years ago, you would be in the tower for what you tweeted recently. It's outrageous. Do you think I should be in the tower? Sorry. Do you think I should be in the tower for a tweet like that? A hundred years ago, you would have been. Now, what about now? I still think it's quite treacherous to, to dismissively talk about Her Majesty the Queen in such a way that you want to kick her out and say that she's on welfare, on welfare street. It's, it's just disrespectful, for, not just for the Queen, Why? but for all of us, because she, unites, she is the embodiment mm. of Britishness. Look, Kevin, I think it's absolutely correct that we should be able to have a debate about the future of the monarchy. Of course we can. What upset me so much about the tweet is the way that you are degrading the work that the 96-year-old Queen is still putting in. I mean, you saw the last Pope. The moment the going got tough, he stepped down. The Queen is the exact opposite of that, Kevin. Think of what she's gone through over the past year, dealing with the loss of her rock, Prince Philip. And I really feel at this point that we should not be attacking the Queen. I think no matter what your view of uh, whether we should be a republic or not is, we should be coming around and giving this woman love and supporting her through this time because of her incredible service to this country. Dan, on a human level, of course, uh, my heart goes out uh, over the loss of her husband. And anybody who watched those uh, pictures of her sitting alone in yeah. the chapel in Windsor, uh, little did we but know. where was the humanity in your tweet? You, you, you felt sympathy for her. However, she can't do her job. She didn't right, go so to COP26. She couldn't do that. She didn't go to the Queen. Commonwealth the m the uh, Memorial the uh, service, Celebration Service. And five. she didn't do the Queen's speech. It was a prince's speech. This is going to carry on. We've She's got to be brave. Running. We've got to follow She's the rest still of the world. The royal household. She's still running the royal family. If Prince Charles steps in for her as he has done over the decades, that is perfectly OK. She is still Her Majesty the Queen. She's still the crown, embodiment of the crown. She's still the sovereign, and she's still the figure that unites our country. I don't understand this idea that she's, she's not clocked in, therefore she should be deducted wages. It's not a job, it's a vocation. She's, it's a service, it's an obligation, it's a duty. These things are values that the British people used to understand. It seems to me that you've lost all meaning of them. She gets a huge amount of money, has incredible is privileges. Is this, is this, is this, is this uh, the Very, yeah, nobody would be allowed in public Would you want her job, Kevin? Doing that. There's a reason that Meghan Markle does not live in the UK. There's a reason Meghan Markle does not mm. do the whole royal thing. It's a chore. It's a grind. It's sacrificial. And it's hard work. It isn't just a Go case on. of waving your hand every now and then. <laughs> I mean, don't make it sound like working on a building site or cleaning hospital floors. Or Kevin, how many books. people? how many people do you know who is still working at 96 years old. And I think what's particularly sad is that you're suggesting the only way that we can assume the Queen is still at work is if she's wheeled out on public display. She has made it perfectly clear that she doesn't want to be seen in a wheelchair, Kevin, because she felt that that demeaned the status in public of her sister, Princess Margaret. And I think after seven decades of impeccable service, Kevin, we owe her enough to respect that decision. I think after seven decades, it's time to say thank you and goodbye. Uh, thank you for your service, but it's now time to make way for somebody else. If so, we want her to stay for as long as possible. Because the, one of the roles of the monarchy is to be seen and perform official duties. And she can't. Not, a, not at all. Not like, at it's, all. Not. It's, a very, it's a very modern context. It's a very modern idea of what the monarchy is. The, before television, the monarchy was not seen all about and about everywhere. They still had a role in the country, in the way, in the life of the country. I don't think it should be a case of if we haven't seen her in a week, we should sack her off. Um, she has served us for decades. Surely we owe her the repayment of that. We should be looking after her just as she's looked after us. She served in World War II. She served um, in many, many patronages and many, many charities uh, over the years. She's helped not just British people, but the Commonwealth of Nations around oh, the world. God. Do we not I mean, look, her? You're okay. drowning in deference. Served in World War II. She wasn't on the Arctic convoy. She wasn't at D-Day. She wasn't flying a Spitfire no, basic, what in the about Battle, of, Battle of Britain. Come on. Come on. I mean, just, get a grip, man. She... Get a grip of yourself. Get a grip. Get a grip of yourself. You sat on national TV disrespecting a 96-year-old who's spent her entire life serving this country. What have you done to serve this country? But get a Every grip. day, get a grip. I do my duty by talking to people like you.
and pointing out the errors of your way. Sometimes the alternative voice. The, I'm the voice of common sense and reason. You're Don't the voice of the common knee sense. And you are promote the voice of common sense. Promote it away. <laughs> so, now I know so you're the Now world I know you're on here just to take the I mean, you no, know, come on. Point. Kevin, she served in the there, territorial you know, army, and do not do do, do not do down that duty because my grandma served in exactly the same force that she did. And as young teenage women in the 1940s, to go and be prepared to serve in the army to back up your country was a massive deal, and to do so as a princess was even bigger. So do not do down what she did during World War II because Maddie, it was utterly incredible, Maddie. and the country has so much respect for what she did during World War II. She could have powered away in her castle, and she didn't. Many people in the Second World War on the home front performed heroic tasks, but to build up the Queen as somehow exceptional and very different is wrong. It, where you build a royal myth, you try and create... I have respect for anyone who served in World War II. Beings. They are not. Look, I, she inherited I have respect the, she for inherited any veteran position. of World War II, but the Queen didn't need to serve. That's the point that I'm making, and she did. And you shouldn't do down her service in World War II. If we're going to do, if we're going to do service, then start respecting uh, Prince Harry, who served in war zones twice. You don't, do you? I do respect, respect him for, him for that. Absolutely. In fact, what we don't respect about him is the way he disregarded the service and disregarded his his colleagues and peers that he'd spent a long mm. time serving with after he ditched the yeah. country. I mean, Kevin, Prince Harry. Is on, it's perfect, perfect that you brought him up. Stuff, it's perfect you brought him up, Kevin, because he cut and run when the going got tough, and the Queen never did that for seven decades. And she yeah. saved the monarchy. She, the queen. she saved the monarchy. If you had Palace, heard, Windsor you Castle, know. Sandringham, uh, Balmoral, you probably wouldn't leave either, would you? Uh, William probably well, her didn't uncle did. Well, her Charles. uncle did. Uh, Harry's fate was to be the spare. Well, no, the Queen's uncle abdicated and put the monarchy in its gravest crisis, fighting for survival. And guess who the one person was who saved the monarchy? Probably for the next 100 years, the Queen. And let's be honest, Kevin, that's why you hate her, isn't it? That's why you hate I, her, because you know I, that she has basically destroyed your Republican cause. It's, it says a lot, actually, that Edward VIII had to... Uh, abdicate because of his love for an American divorcee rather than these fascistic <laughs> views and uh, weird uh, liking of uh, Hitler. Yeah. But she, won't have pres she won't have preserved the monarchy for 100 years. You know it'll be totally different when Charles comes along and William comes along. Yeah, and the that's why you want to make it happen I quicker. And as I've been saying for a long time, Kevin, I believe the Queen will reign for at least another decade. And she's healthy, and, uh, she's strong. And, uh, and I wish... Dan, I wish I could. I wish I could uh, health and a long life. Okay, uh, good. That's, well, that's, not, that's not the problem. Let, let's let's leave it there. Then. <laughs> let's leave it there. The that was yeah. the Daily Mirror's associate editor, Kevin McGuire. Very much appreciate it, Kevin, and the conservative commentator, Calvin Robinson. So, who do you agree with? Well, one busy lady on Twitter says, what perks? She has devoted her life to serve our country. I can't see any perks on that. From Snoffer, she's done her bit for decades. Most 96-year-olds would have already had 30 years of retirement behind them. Leave her alone. An old cynic on Twitter says, my father devoted his life to service to our country. He died penniless, just made the unpardonable mistake of being born into the wrong family, I guess. And your verdict is now in. 90% of you agree that the Queen should keep the perks of being a royal, while 10% of you are with Kevin Maguire.